<laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yes, Sony Interactive. Entertainment presents. <laughs> Gorilla. <laughs> Sony Interactive Entertainment presents Gorilla. <laughs> We shall continue. Because we can. Oh, right. I should probably turn off this small, this big light here. There we go. <laughs> the machine repair skill. Hmm. I'm trying to remember where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I didn't realize there was an enemy over there. Fire coil, huh? Huh, interesting. Mm. Oh, I'm not some kind of trap, right? This is stuff for. What?
there's anything up here. Been up here before, it's just I don't remember if there's anything up this way. I need to watch out for. The fox. <laughs> Daylight. You must speak. So. I guess my body is Reggie. Yes. <laughs> I guess. It's louder than I expected. I've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. Uh-huh. I don't know about that. <laughs> Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Are you sure they're going to let me in? I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. Hmm. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, the center of Nora life, the jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was in the tribe. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. You wanted answers all these years, and you couldn't give me any answers? Um, okay. <laughs> I might do this. See you back home in a few days? Bye then. <laughs> Take this. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No. You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye.
should I do? But I will find you or I understand. <laughs> I don't think good rins would help. <laughs> I say... I say, but I will find you. No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. Of course you wouldn't. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Aloy. And you. Eh, he's gonna go live as a hermit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'll let him go for now. First, <laughs> after that, I'll see where his trail leads. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Dramatic reverb. <laughs> oh wait, no. If you want me to do that? I gotta do it proper. Bom bom bom. Dramatic reverb. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. <laughs> make way, make way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come, I assure you. Well, at least some town is nice. Good <laughs> lord. <laughs> Who else could I be? Come on, stupid now. tribes. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. I saw the beginning I before you, you. Other were a kid. Oh. <laughs> what? Envoys from another tribe. <laughs> Come to observe the proving and oh how the north. I saw you when you were babby. <laughs> but that's my problem. We will talk later. Yeah, nice. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. <laughs> oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will tell him that. What's going on? I got out of the So I gotta go to the right. Talk to your old friend. All right, old friend, where are you? Aloy, stop drinking your It's you, isn't it? I'm gonna be an uncle Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm oh. remembering your name correctly. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. I know. You were oh, my Teb. size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. Oh, yeah. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again. If you came to run in the proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. Well, that's still useful. In preparation for this day, <laughs> I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. Aww. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Aww. Has the different outfits. Oh, these are cool. Oh, wow. Silent Hunter. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Oh, 
I'll get I'll get the sample box. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Seems to fit you perfectly. Sweet tap. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. <laughs> angry mob waiting outside? <laughs> Is that what you yes. call them these After days? <laughs> Carja visiting our sacred <laughs> land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes flying, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. The matriarchs are supposed to be wise and calm. Well, I heard him arguing like a couple of children the other day. So, well, you can interact with the fire. Huh. Good day to be one of all mothers chosen. God has put us here for a reason. And greet people. Our mother knows it's time for you to try a different place. I wish you the best. Oh, I love this part. I bet you do. <laughs> oh, I love this part. The dancing. <laughs> I don't talk to outcasts. The festival before my sister's I don't cut the outcasts because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I become a non outcast, what are you going to do? <laughs> In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. <coughs> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Earth. Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, nor, uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. Jeez. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. Yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology straight from the lips of the 14th king so please can't you lend him your ears hey, thank you <coughs> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of sun king avad 14th luminous of the radiant line He's wearing a fungus, just like mine. Where did he find a fungus? You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a fungus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Oh, yeah. I guess you're not. <laughs> yeah, you're I'm not. Delving in the ruins of the <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? 
Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. What else do you know about Owen? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting <laughs> to get jealous. <laughs> well, he scours the wilds for ruins, <laughs> digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. It's exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Okay. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Menorah is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. Take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. It is but cruel. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, <laughs> right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. Dun, dun, dun. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne, and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. I think I might. No. <laughs> Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? <laughs> Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. That sounds the like an interesting place. The spire, Can I go like over there? A <laughs> thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Oh, okay. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. 
Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass, and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they can tell. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's his story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Okay. Or just come to Meridian <laughs> and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both over rather uh, <laughs> direct. <laughs> tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, okay. 20 years ago, the machines what? weren't always think, pissed off like they are bit, now. I am going to when a hunter came at them, they'd spook the and food, run. But I will be watching it. So it was hard to take them down, okay. not dangerous. So Enjoy your food. <laughs> <out the way. laughs> well, we'll but then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass, and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Uh, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Who are the Oseram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And <laughs> freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I've never seen armor like yours before. <laughs> You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. Okay. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. I'd even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, it looks like a pretty even match. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but <laughs> it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. Uh, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? There we go. I found it. We we'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place.
Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. So I do for Rust. For my mother or for myself? I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. So she doesn't know her mother. I don't know if she would want to do it for her mother. I think I'm either for Ross. You vote mother? Okay. In honor of my mother, whose name I would know if she hadn't abandoned me at birth. Oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is a child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Bye, lanterns! Oh. <laughs> There's Owen. I have some questions for him. My name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn it. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. <laughs> I got nothing to hide. What are you doing here, Owen? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's Court. That's all. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape, then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. The North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. 
I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <laughs> okay. At least I got to talk to him anyway. <laughs> they exploded. <laughs> yes, all the lanterns exploded. They went <laughs> <laughs> open to everyone. Enjoy yourself, girl. You might be less in shock. Wow. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You were, you were very present here. <laughs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Nice people. You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? But no one hears your prayers anyway. Are you gonna let Boss talk to you that way? I wouldn't. We ah, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. <laughs> I pity you, really. I don't pity him. He's a douchebag. <laughs> well, I could say I pity you. <laughs> or you're afraid. Or I'm going to win! I don't even know if I would win. <laughs> so which do you think I should choose? You're afraid it's my vote. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah. The look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> that would be a surprise. <laughs> nice job handling boss. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Boss, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Well, it just seems nicer than most of the people in there. Well, it's just so, easy to talk to. Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nor Lodge before. Not very private. Too. <laughs> I hate it. It's not bad, maybe? I mean, I don't... I don't know. She's never really been in a... place like this. I don't think. Hmm. What do you think? Should we do... Not bad. Okay. It has certain charms. Homey enough once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Yeah, the main quest is complete. Guy hanging on in the corner. It's like, ah! Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? You're just such a nice douchebag, aren't you? It's a grazer. Okay, kill a grazer constantly from grounds. That's what I did, okay. So kill a grazer to alive over in the proven by compel the high matriarchs for or die trying. Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another. I was tempted to not even try for this damn tribe. Come on. 
guess I can't get that one. All right. Just the one. It's over there. I've got to catch up. Slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? That's behind get me. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way, but forward now. Right there. There. Gotta catch up. around and climb back up. I don't wanna do this to me! I can't see! Boss, the ball is right behind you. Come on now! Stop dragging. Hey, gotta keep on. going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up! How did she get up there? Well, make it. Oh, come on, come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. Wow. But she is a brave now. <laughs> did it. Yay, finally. <laughs> as are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among us. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh no. I ran into a trap, of course. Keep them pinned down till the others arrive. Oh no. We can't stay here. That's the way out. But we won't make it under fire. They can't shoot if they're 
dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Fast! Fast! Are you with us? I'm with you! Let's go. Now! Kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors! Keep fighting! Oh no! There's more! They keep coming! How many are there? Now, descend while we have a chance.
Was ist hier? Oh man, it's getting tense. <laughs> oh no. no! Burn it all, then to your task. As you command. off the cliff. And no. Uh, well, I guess I'll never see him again. Remembering as a kid falling in that place. And now <laughs> she is dying. <gasps> I wouldn't say she's dying. Configure there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. Oh. The question is, is that all a dream or does that actually happen? It's not she doesn't have the um, scratch on her neck anymore. Oh no, her thing's gone. me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? Is it 
for your focus. Oh. Well, why are you telling me to use that then? <laughs> I don't know. Well, she was with other people, so obviously they're not here right now. What the shit? Where the heck am I? Did I have to die and then go and get stuck in a cave of some sort? That's from Skyrim? That's weird. Why does this place have this low light? It's like nothing in there. I'm confused. <laughs> my goals. Good. But where's my focus? It's here. Okay. The oh, shit am I? Sacred mount. Oh, this is the sacred mount? I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off with. Okay, there we go. I Where finished. are they? Yay! So how was it? I should be just delicious. Delicious. <laughs> so I'm in the sa the sacred mountain. Okay. Some kind of signal. Looks like the ruins I fell into when I was young. The more of you built this place, the old ones did. Oh, that would explain why, why? I'm suddenly feeling really sleepy. Why? <laughs> I just looked at the clock. <laughs> oh. I guess this way is the way. Well, also having a full stomach too. Yeah. There. With the rest of my things. And on top of that, being exhausted from a good gig. True. I guess I got my clip back. Bow. <laughs> Bow. from the guy that she took it from. Might be. Tells her exact right. coordinates. Just because I look like you. They almost practically look the same. Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. 
To where? To the place where you were born. Uh, okay. Oh, she does have the scratch. I didn't notice. Okay. She actually does. It is easier if I show you. Okay. I'll follow. So was, was I born in the sacred mountain then? Why did you bring me here? Must have been. It seemed you were dying. And to die near one's mother is sacred. Lantra fought it, of course, but genocide with me. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow It's me. complicated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> a convenient answer. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm Wait, so I'm how is she born from the what mountain? What are you talking about? Yeah, exactly! What are you talking Come. about? I'm confused. That's why they don't like me. That's why I'm an outcast, because I'm born of a, a mountain. What is this place? <laughs> <laughs> the great chamber, where all Bob Ross slew the metal devil <laughs> and gave birth to you. Wait, a metal thing gave birth Anor, to me? The Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... Everything. Everything? This <laughs> is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. No, I think there was someone that brought you yes. there. I don't think that you were... Actually, just you know, birth that is what here. I have believed that you came from the womb of the mountain, a gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lanzra, feared that a darker power put you here not a gift, but a curse. So that's why everyone hated you. Okay, this isn't a goddess, Aloy, it's a door. Well, hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just the goddess, goddess speaks. speaks, yes. <laughs> Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. Wow. No. No. So she has to have that certain look or she is just duped forever. <laughs> well, I guess you can't go in. But so is life is you because apparently no one likes you anyway. <laughs> You're not allowed in. That's the same as everyone as else here. In that stupid village. You're not listening. That tribe's like, no, it didn't you can't recognize come in. me. <laughs> because of corruption. The goddess is only words. Surely if you How do you heal a corruption? It's a robot. Clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders the night before the proving. The killers saw me through his eyes. Well, I guess you should go he over to Meridian. Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. 
been an outcast all my life. When I'm in exile too. Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. Oh, oh okay, woman. <laughs> you said if the you say so. the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. the war party defeated the killers do not fight alone somehow they have a power over the machines corrupting them driving them mad so the killers got away yes and now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy as though she would not want us to help ourselves then what's your plan this this was my plan to show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny oh mother intended for you okay the other high matriarchs are waiting for us let me do the talking all right <laughs> high matriarchs are finally they're finally out Understand? of there She's finally yes. alive get ready i showed her <laughs> sisters the goddess spoke to Aloy, told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. No! I hate everything about you! Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Dun 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 dun. Aloy, by the holy grace of the one goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Okay. Yes, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. I can go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight. Or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the, the children, children of metal. metal. Built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder Old Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, like but could not cleanse place. their sins. <laughs> their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of Old Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Yeah, it is. Then, this is something beyond my understanding. Apparently so. I will trust you to reveal the truth. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the seeker blessing will protect you. Have there been other seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. 
Dun, dun, dun. Was Frost a seeker? No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. Yeah, yeah, what other day? What was done with Frost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you. With flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. Well, how can I, I help have you no guys, doubt though? You will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. All mother, soon we, we will beg forgiveness for the sins Please that brought such us. misery on Here the tribe. Him. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. Corruption spreading across the land. We have a valley sealed up. Wonderful. Study as a drumbeat. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Yeah, we also lost a lot of lives. You ever think of that? <laughs> Let's get some stuff. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? <sighs> No wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. <laughs> you just slaughter the dead. <laughs> Beautiful. You're a nobody. <laughs> oh, okay. Which one should I do? This is a bit of a tough choice because I'm liking both those at the top. <laughs> You're nobody, dingus. <laughs> I say, I say, you dishonor the dead. All right. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on, silence. 
I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. The sooner you're gone from here, the better. Wow. What was that? Oh, lovely. Oh, no, there's something else. What is this? Oh, lovely. The demon! Sound the alarm! Get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the striders! It's driven them mad! Generations before me. How does the machine like stuff. that take control of all those striders? <laughs> all this stuff. You speak for no one. How does it possess other machines? How'd you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. How? This. You did it with this. To my focus, then I could use this. It's worth a shot. A couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy, how did you do that? Tev, what are you doing here? You're a stitcher, not a braid. I came to help defend Mother's Watch, but I never imagined I'd see anything like this. You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Resh says. Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Love place. This is Graves. I want that gate repaired immediately. I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done. I need to find a machine. Test this override device. Yes, save. <laughs>
the big map. Looks good. Yep. I guess this is where the adventure truly begins. Yep. Hi, Mr. Fox. <laughs> You're just heading up the hill. Yep. Save these for the trail. Striders. I can test the overall device. Should go and collect it. Then go through all the vista way that trampled by a frightened herd. Okay. Mm. 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 I like how they look like they're eating, but they're just metal creatures. How the heck did they eat? <laughs> I guess they're programmed to look natural. They kind of look like horses, actually. Now that I look at them. Which one should I go for? Should I go for one that's over here? Or should I go for another one? Possibly the one that's closest. There's one right up here. Okay, here it goes. Come on, come on. It worked. Sweet. There we go. That a boy. That's more like it. Make the life easier. <laughs> this strider is fast. <laughs> this beats walking. It definitely beats walking. <laughs> definitely. I should try overriding other kinds of machines. Probably can't ride them all, but I might find a use for them. Kick the door open. Watch yourself. Bring it closer. Closer. Hi. <laughs> Varl, I 
I take it? Am I seeing things? Or were you riding that strider when you came through the gate? Uh, I was. It's hard to explain. I imagine so. Strange times we live in. We who've survived. I recognize you, of course. Aloy, the outcast who won the Proving. I'm glad to see you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Yeah. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go on patrol, and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines. Spreading madness. Yes. Oh no. I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. The word is there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. Yeah. <laughs> you said I won the proving. How did you know that? When I spoke to survivors, they said you fought bravely. As did Boss. Okay. And my I'll sister. Your sister was. All right. Long? I'm, I'm very sorry. Trash, I, I liked her. I think we might have even become All right. friends. Burp. Burp. Chance. <laughs> Thank you. She died saving others. There is no better death. You said the war party was massacred. How? <sighs> when word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething that with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone. And our losses were extreme. Extreme. You said War Chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did. But Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the embrace. And to guard this gate. To guard the embrace. With my life. That was days ago. And since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead. If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend. An unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst, on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. If she went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you, and... I... I get it, girl. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I... I... I get it. Get it! I get it! I get it! <laughs> Select them. Oh! Oh! Is it behind me? Okay. Come on, straighter! Let's go! May the goddess protect you. Wait, wait, wait. Stop! Hold on. 
world just got bigger. I'm gonna go before I did that. I'm just gonna go six. There we go. Might as well see. Now I can go anywhere. Let's go, Mastretta. Were you all right, Hunter? Were you injured when the war party was ambushed? Mm, not exactly. Then I'm not a hunter, or a brave, or anything really. You shouldn't even be talking to me. Well, whoever you are, you're hurt. What happened? My name's Kren. I thought I'd have a go at the trials at the hunting grounds over the rise, you know, told my skills. It, uh, it didn't go very well. You got injured at a hunting grounds? How? Well, I was aiming for a canister on the back of a grazer, and my bowstring snapped, and I tripped, and... Uh, forget it. it. It wasn't pretty, okay? I just wanted to train a bit. Hunting grounds are perfect for that. They offer trials, which are like challenges, and they give you marks if you accomplish objectives or beat certain times. The keep is up there on the hill, just to the north. And talk to him to do a trial. I'm sure you'd be better than I did. Why did you say you weren't anything at all, and that I shouldn't talk to you? I stole a bow, okay? And got cast out. This was before the proving, so now I can't even fight for my tribe in its time of need. I have to live in the wild by myself, which is why I wanted some training. Honestly, I'm just glad the Keeper would talk to me. I think he might be an exile or something. He doesn't seem to care about the laws of the matriarchs. Things aren't exactly going your way, are they? Is there anything I can do to help? No, no. I'll be all right. My father always said all mother had a plan for me. Before he got run over by a strider, anyway. <laughs> Before you got run over by a strider. I need to get going, Kren. All right. Be careful. Especially if you're heading north. And be sure to hit the hunting grounds if you want to train up. Rabbit bound. Might be a good idea. Let's go. Oh, that's the merchant. Okay. All right. So let's see. Welcome back. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Yeah, I forgot you have traps in this game. stock up Make some more arrows. There we go. I spoke to Kren. He told me this is a hunting grounds where you offer tests of skill. Poor Kren. Not the best hunter. Yeah, apparently but at not. At least he keeps his job. <laughs> mm. You bear the mark of a seeker. I've heard of those, but never seen one. You have the matriarch's leave to come and go as you like from the sacred land? Yes, but I would have gone even without their permission. Is that so? Then maybe you and oh, I yeah. can speak plainly. Truth is, I've had dealings with the Karja. I represent an organization called the Hunters Lodge can read in Meridian. <laughs> we test promising young hunters with trials at places like these. You might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Why don't you sample the trials and see? Just to be clear, though, I'd appreciate it if you kept our conversation in confidence, especially when it comes to the matriarchs. Tell me about the trials. The Hunter's Lodge hosts hunting ground trials throughout the world, each offering hunters a chance to test their skills. What do I get for completing them? Pride and accomplishment, as well as marks, depending on how well you fare. Here, we offer the tools trials. What kind of tools? Hunting isn't just about your bow. It's about using everything available to you, even your surroundings. You'll see once you start taking the trials. You're not supposed to be here, are you? No. My friend and I left the sacred land and returned. What is three o'clock? Prove, to say the least. We're hunters at heart. Left not the final place to find new herds save. And new That's why the hunters' lodge appealed to us. 
But the Karja wouldn't have us if they knew we were Nora. So we wore Karja clothes. Well, it's a Nora keeper, so. <laughs> After a while, it felt like we were caught between worlds. So technically, I have no idea <laughs> his actual name. started to miss home. <laughs> so we came back. <laughs> he came up the hunting ground. Do you think it'll work? <laughs> Staying here without the Matriarch's permission? I'm not sure. But we don't believe in their rules. The There's a big the world out sword. there, and ignoring <laughs> it doesn't help anyone. What is the Hunter's Lodge? It's a group of hunters who compete to bring down the mightiest machines in the land, run by the Karja in Meridian. You can see it yourself if you win three half-sons from the hunting grounds. Just to warn you, though, they're not fond of Nora. I should go. Come back when you're ready. There we go. Okay, now I need to find trading person. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Manual save. Manual save. Manual save. Alrighty. So I manual saved. I'll, I guess I'll start the trials when I come back. I did get pretty far, at least. Yeah. <laughs> Made quite a bit of progress. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, Ooh, this is a good place to stop, I think. <laughs> At least I got through all the stuff I need to go through at the moment. And actually I'm able to go literally anywhere now. <laughs> this is pretty much. So I'm, I'm open to explore the world. <laughs> I have to say though, this game is a lot of fun. <laughs> it definitely does look good. Yeah. It's kind of like Skyrim, but different in a way. Because most things are all um, robotic that you run into. <laughs> yes. Well, I hope everyone has a good day, night, whatever it is. <laughs> and yeah. I'll come back sometime to stream. <laughs> so, good night! <laughs> good night, everybody! Should I raid somebody? Mm, yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see, who's, who's available? Oh, let's see. There's Lightyear with Wise. I'm trying, I'm trying to play Wise, I think 8? I think it is. I believe that's what it is. And. Another person playing Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy, the 30th anniversary. Hmm. They don't have many people either. They only have seven people. I would say we could push a raid there. Let's see what are they plan. <laughs> it's like a board game. With Final Fantasy, it's like. And also Dragon Quest characters. It's all in Japanese. <laughs> so I guess I can raid that. This guy looks fun. Alright. It looks like a fun game. Alright. Alright.
There we go. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.